Yo, what's up? It's the Tiger Master 360 XE. So first of all, I want to say that I have pre-recorded a whole bunch of videos and a lot of videos are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm back. Like, hello, you guys. After a long time of blah, 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 bleep, bloop, because I've recorded a whole bunch of like audio for videos that I had been planned to post and edit that I never got around to editing. But this one, this rant about social media, is officially the first post that I'm going to make in my comeback to YouTube. So the other videos that are going to be up after this, you know, there might be videos that say, hey, you guys, sorry after this long blah, 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 just to let you know beforehand before you go to the video and it's like what the heck what are you talking about you just posted yesterday or two days ago okay just to let you know so let's get to this because i have a whole lot to say about this so i am over here drawing my sketch this is available on my patreon patreon.com slash tiger master if you want to go ahead and use the coloring page it's literally one dollar for the coloring page um yeah, and there's WIPs, works in progress, so this drawing also available on my Patreon, okay? So I'm just drawing this. I was trying to make it, I don't know, kind of like Spanishy, look like, well, not Spanishy, but more like Latino type of vibe, so that's what I was going for. But anyway, that's not the whole point of this video. If you want to know more about this drawing, just watch me draw it. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me not be a jerk. But today, today is August the 29th, 2019. I decided to go ahead and go back on Davian Art. Okay, I woke up and was mad. I'm gonna tell you why I was mad. Because all of my social media, well, mainly my Instagram, is just being a jerk to me. Like, oh my gosh, like I cannot grow to save my life. I don't know what the heck Instagram has done. Apparently, Instagram has this type of like thing going on but i'm gonna talk about that later because this whole video is going to be nice and long so if you like to hear me talk if you want to have a little podcast type of situation or whatever go ahead and get yourself some food and sit down and listen or play this while you're driving or something because this is going to be a good little rant about social media and i'm going to start off with davian art because davian art is literally the first social media i've ever been on well that in youtube but like the first social media where i had an account on was davian art davian art is literally like back in the day it was like every artist's dream like everyone knew what davian art was like da was just wonderful i know there's like little things about it but da back between like 2000 like all the way up into I would say 2012, 2014-ish, like right around when Tumblr started like popping, that's when Dave Renard had like his height. Once Tumblr popped up, then Dave Renard just kind of fell. And then when Tumblr fell, like people started like scrambling, going to Instagram and crap. But anyway, that's besides the point. Basically, Dave Renard, if you don't know, is a huge art community. It's not just a place where you can post artworks. It's also a place where you can go to forums. You can make groups. You can like, there's chat rooms. You can make journals where you can basically blog. Like it was beautiful. It was like, in, in a lot of respects, like if you could make it on Davian Art, you have established yourself a really strong fan group or like a following, like a community, like you basically make your own community as an artist. If you're able to establish yourself on DA, you were really successful because people on DA, and I don't know if it, I, you know, like I wonder if this is just like the newer generation or what, I don't really know. But like, I say it's like the newer generation when it's really my generation, which is the generation now. But anyway, I was on DA as, at a young age, so that's why it's kind of weird for me to say that, but anyway da like the people who are on da the people who like was in the forums people who comment on your stuff like you got comments likes views um group interactions all types of different stuff like people would be on your profile comments and people would comment on your journals like you had legitimate fans who were committed to your artwork it was like a perfect place for hobbyists slash people who like were professionals but i feel like the professionalism 
of it wasn't that serious it was like you can be a professional without having to draw serious like artworks and junk like you could be a professional artist drawing cartoon style or anime style like you don't have to draw realism you don't have to make it like cg artwork in order to be considered a professional there's like different realms of professionalism as an artist and i feel like that's the biggest issue that's coming around with art nowadays is this concept of what the heck is considered professional that's the whole point of the internet back in the day was like anybody could come up anybody could come up you don't have to be freaking picasso or someone to to get somewhere like you know what i mean you can get somewhere just by having a unique style a unique story if you're like a comic artist or a writer you just had to be unique that's all it was it was like it was real life legitimate stuff it, it was good it was good stuff and like basically by building your own community and stuff it was like you know that you could get consistent feedback and like people would be interested in actually checking out your art art websites and maybe body buying your like um merchandise people were actually really interested in seeing you at conventions it was like you legitimately had a strong fan group if you were able to build it on Davian art so that's what was Davian art was in the past and then recently um, I think everyone was talking about like Eclipse in 2018. Like late 2018, he was like a little skimmish, and then it was like really like promoted, like popped up in 2019. And I'm gonna just say my personal opinions about Eclipse when it first came out because when it first first came out, I was just like, I don't know how to feel about this, but I'm really open to seeing how they work it because like a lot of people had gotten beta testing for eclipse but i didn't personally get eclipse yet i was only seeing like screenshots and then i got eclipse back in like may or something uh, around that time and i would tell you that what the heck what the heck davian art oh my goodness it's not even davian art basically david art was dying but well, not dying but like they were they were losing a lot of money they weren't good they weren't doing that good when it came to cash so david art was up for sale wix bought david art and now wix whenever it's like kind of like when you have like a favorite restaurant and then you you eat there all the time and then one day you come in and everything changes and you're like what the heck happened this isn't the same restaurant even taste is different the whole vibe is different it's because you have new management whenever new management comes in it's like they gotta like change every day it's like when let's say like a lion like they come and they find a bunch of lionesses and the lionesses have cubs the lion is going to kill the cubs and then start his own children with these lionesses and create his own pride just basically removing any essence of whatever leader these lionesses had in the past just completely removing it that's exactly what's going on with david art right now and this is what happens whenever new management comes in anytime it's like they had to completely strip away whatever the heck remnants or ideas that they had of david art when it was under different management because the new management is like i want to control this now i want to implement what i envision for this website i don't give a crap about what the heck a division for it for uh david art was in the past I want to implement my own stuff now. I want to do the way I want to do it. I don't care how it affects the art community. I don't care how it affects the user users. The, the user interface in general, oh my gosh. So like, let me talk about my first big huge gripes with, with Eclipse, man. I got on Eclipse and I was immediately overwhelmed. <laughs> oh. I mean, look at Eclipse. I don't know how many of you guys have Eclipse. But just look at it. I know that you can change between the dark and the, and the white, whatever the heck, pretty much black and white. I don't care if it calls dark and light mode. No, it's black and freaking white, okay? And both of them are trash. Both of them are literally trash. Like you go into black mode, you're gonna go to the page and your eyes are going to strain. Oh my gosh. I'm like on this website, I'm like, why are my eyes burning? What is wrong with my eyes? <laughs> like, why am I crying? Look at this art. 
it's like you look at the picture and you're like oh my gosh this art must be super beautiful because my eyes are i'm literally crying and then you sit there for a second you're like hold up a second this art looks like garbage why am i crying oh yeah it's because this this black background is literally burning my eyes like crazy i think like you could really see how much your eyes will burn whenever they have like pngs posted because then it's like the whole thing is black the whole thing is literally black like <laughs> some artwork on it what were they thinking what were you thinking everyone should know this that having colors on a black background like even if it's white oh i feel like especially if they have white in it it just strains your eyes you're gonna go to david and our eclipse and you're gonna look at it for like 10 minutes and then you're gonna look at something else and be like everything's blurry you're gonna try and walk you're going to be on your phone looking at the eclipse and you're going to be like, ooh, I'm kind of thirsty. So you're going to try to get your refrigerator. And when you're walking to your refrigerator, you're going to like bump into a wall because your eyes are straining so bad. And now you need glasses. So now you got to go get a prescription. That's how freaking bad the strain is on eclipse. I'm concerned that if I look at eclipse too long, I might end up needing glasses. I have 2020 vision. I do not need glasses for just being on our website. It's just like it's a struggle so anyway anyway i really y'all i don't know if you understand i really hate this black background like i could stay on this black background it's, it's the white background don't make it any better because it's super bright you gotta freaking put your um display levels at pretty much darkness L literally you have to go to xanart to go ahead and let him give you some darkness in order to make your screen dark enough so that the white doesn't burn the crap out of your eyes it's like you need to burn your eyes with black burn your eyes with white i don't understand why i didn't think like oh why don't we just come up with different gradients why don't we have gradients of like gray if you really want it to be bland like if wix was like i want david and art to be bland as heck why don't you have different shades of gray you know, like, why the different shades of gray that we can choose from? Or, or, or just, I don't know, this might be a crazy option, but, like, have a color wheel where people could choose what color to do for the profile. Because a lot of people, as artists, have different color schemes that they prefer for their artworks. Like, I have a particular color scheme. Everyone has a particular color that they like to go for with the art. If you have the custom, if you have the ability to customize the type of background for your profile or whatever, then you can like choose a color that would best suit the artwork you have. Or you could just go back to the green. Like it wasn't even green; it was like green gray. Or you could just go back to that, and everyone would be happy, and, and people could have their custom boxes where they can create the art, create the type of background that would best fit their artworks. It's like, I guess this is another jump. What's the point of getting a core membership on David Art anyway? What's the point of that? Can anyone tell me what in the world is actually the point of me getting <laughs> a core membership? As soon as I got the um, the Eclipse update and I saw what the heck was going on, and I was trying to like use the little wedges or whatever the crap they had for Davian Art as a core membership, I was like, this is a waste of money. I was like, this is an absolute waste of money. So I legit just left core membership. I was like, man, forget this. Because I can't even use custom boxes. I had my profile like nice and customized the way I wanted it to look. Okay, I wanted to look a certain type of way. It separates me, distinguishes me from other artworks, from other artists. artists. I don't understand why you would eliminate that from Davian Art. Like, that's the whole point of Davian Art. It's like, if you don't have your own website, you can just use Davian Art and you can, like, customize it to look like your own website or whatever. It's like, well, why would you do that? Why would you eliminate that, you know? I feel like that's a big thing about Wix. It's like they're trying to iron everything out to look the same. And that's the whole point. The whole point of Deviant Art was like the art community, being individual, being unique. And now they just completely removed that. So like there's really no point in getting a core. And that's going to be a big issue. I really don't see Deviant Art lasting that long. Because it's like once you remove cores, which is like where a lot of people, where uh, Deviant Art got a lot of their money was from people paying for core memberships. It's like now you're just going to lose money because there's literally not that much difference between getting a core and just having a regular eclipse. 
there's really not that much difference. Your Eclipse profile looks good enough to stand alone. You're really not going to get that much by getting a core. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense. And then I want to talk about like navigation on uh, Eclipse in general. When you go to the front page, um, at least on desktop, I don't know what the heck. Oh, I did use mobile for Eclipse. So mobile for Eclipse is more confusing or in a way, cause like you have to do, you have to do a lot of clicks. I think that's like a common thing that I saw. Like I was reading journals by people, clicks. Oh my gosh, how many clicks do you have to do? It's almost like how many licks do you have to do in order to get to the center of a, of a lollipop? You know, like or was a tussie roll pop. It's the same way with like with this Damien R. Wicks eclipse thing going on. It's like how many clicks do you have to take to get to your favorite artist's profile? Like how many clicks do you have to take to to get to i don't know at least like five different daily david nations and lord forbid if you're like that type of person like i was where you like to go ahead and feature people's arts on your journals completely forget that crap because you're going to be clicking for literally 30 days it's like the amount of clicks to do anything on david art is such a waste of time <laughs> You may as well, but I feel like at that point of the time, just to click stuff, just to get to what you're looking for, it could have been better spent, I don't know, clicking to make advertisements on Instagram or something. It's like, I don't, I don't even know. It's just like such a waste of time. <laughs> it's such a waste of time like why am i even doing this why am i even on here trying to click to anything when i'm going to i'm just going to click to someone's profile and it's going to look bland and i'm going to be like why should you even follow a person with everything on their profile looks bland that's why i don't like the black background because it looks it makes artworks look more bland than it actually is like people actually draw some good stuff and then you look at it on this new um eclipse crap and you're like wow everything looks bland as heck so like that's my that's a big huge thing like you on the front page trying to get to new artworks you gotta click like a billion stuff just to get to the new artwork like you trying to i, I just bruh <laughs> let me talk about another thing groups oh 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 my gosh y'all can you feel my pain as a group founder like i have a group it's called geek sky art on david art i am like the founder for that and i cannot figure out for the life of me on eclipse how to um when people submit artworks how in the world to put that on there like how to accept it i cannot like every time i go to like the thing where you have like uh your little messages for the groups it like pops me up to every single group i'm a part of I don't want that. I'm trying to get to the group that I am the founder of so I can like I can do my administrative duties and I can't even figure it out. So now my group is pretty much dead because it's like, oh well she hasn't she has accepted any of my artworks lately, so I may as well just say deuces. That's not the point. I literally cannot figure out how in the world to use this group. I was trying to figure out um like I, I don't even know how to like um add stuff to feet like it's just basically i have to just click back like thank god i've been blessed with this option of clicking back to the old dave and art because if i wasn't oh my gosh i would i would be in hell because i can't even figure out barely anything on this website oh my goodness like i think groups is just like a big killer because it's like if you cannot figure out how in the world to function on groups then what's the point of david art like what's the point what is the point what's the point of being on david art if you can't have that community if you can't have the community then what's the point of me being on david art what's, what's the point like i don't understand and then just to add to the to the issues of the community aspects of david art it's the fact that uh when you go to like oh my god i never felt like so empty on people's post like whenever people post artwork that like you go down to it are you trying to figure out where the heck are the comments oh you have to click again i have to click i have to click again to get to the comments i don't understand that i should just be able to scroll down 
on the artwork and see all the comments if people don't see comments on the post then they're less likely to comment themselves that's the whole point that's the whole issue that's the whole issue overall with this new david and Ari clips it's the fact that i feel like they're trying to eliminate as much as possible the community of david and Ari. And I feel like that's the thing with uh, so much different social medias. And I was going to talk about different social medias, but I feel like I don't even have time. I'm going to talk about Instagram most definitely in another video. But I feel like this video is going to be extremely long if I sit here and was trying to talk about talk about Instagram on the same thing. I'm just going to stick to Dave and our Eclipse. <laughs> I'm just keep ripping Eclipse to shreds because there's so many different things that I don't like about it. Like, what do I like about the Art Eclipse? I like the way that they have where you don't even have to get the core to make your profile look good. The only issue that I have with that, though, is the fact that it's like... There's a lot of clicking. Like, for instance, you used to have it to where your journal would be, like, full screen. If you wanted it to be fully like shown on your profile you could do that now it's like if you're on clips you have to click it again to see someone else's stuff or like if you make a poll on it you have to click to see it if you make a um donation bar you have to click to see it and it's like it's white and stuff and i don't understand why don't you just make that also a different color i don't understand if you made everything black why do you have to make everything so exposed? I just feel like everything looks so exposed on my profile. I don't like that. But having the aspects of like the art being shown in like bigger bigger um, um, sections. Well, like basically you have to get a core in order for artworks to be shown almost like half screen basically. But now with the um, option of Eclipse, everything can look good. I guess you can make most profiles look good but your art still look, going to look bland so like i don't know it's kind of a catch catch because it's like i don't really know man i don't really know all i do know is that when it comes to the feel of david art and trying to like communicate with people it's just way too hard it's just way too hard like i feel like i struggle to oh oh here's another one i don't like i don't like how i can't add stuff to my collections like like i said i like to feature artworks like every week I used to have like a weekly feature like where I would share artworks and I would save my artworks to collections. All you had to do was just drag an artwork and put it in your collection. That's how I went through stuff. But now it's like you can't even do that. I was like looking at this artwork. It's like, oh my gosh, I want to save this. I can't even save it anymore. What's the point? I don't understand that. And then they have like upvotes and comments. What's the point of that? I like the fact that you were kind of forced to like look through the comments to kind of like see what comments are good. But now that you have upvotes on comments, absolutely ridiculous. Like, I feel like the biggest issue that um, this Eclipse is doing is just basically trying to make it seem like every other social media. Like, one of my issues with other social media is the fact that they don't have communities. So, I might as well just go to freaking Amino apps. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to find community because community is probably the biggest thing when you're trying to build yourself up as an artist. If you don't have a community, then it's pretty much useless. Like, if you don't have, like, um, consistent comments or anything, that's, like, my issue with Instagram. Just the, the lack of community aspects. And I guess that's kind of like what I noticed with David R. as time progressed. It's like people commented less and more, less. It's just simply because David R. wasn't popping anymore. David R. was still a thing, but it just wasn't popping anymore. And that's why people started leaving it. The people left for Instagram, and then Instagram has all these issues going on that I'll talk about later. So now everyone's just like, what What do we heck, what do we do as an artist trying to build our, band, our brand? Like, what do you do as an artist? Because it's like, okay, well, you can make a YouTube or whatever, but it's like, you, like, being able to produce video content consistently is very hard as an artist because it's like, I feel like with Davey and R, you can build a community just by being an artist because people would be willing to wait for you to create good content with stuff like instagram and youtube it's like consumerism type of thing where people expect you to to post really often and it's like as an artist it's like how do you complete really good artworks in like a day you know at least two days but two days can can limit your reach you know it, but with dave and R, it's like you could still get somewhere even though if you post it like once a week 
you can still grow you can still grow actually pretty quickly if you did that you know but that's just my gripes that's my gripes with, with david art clips it's just so many different things there's like plenty of journals you can go on to david art and search up david art clips and pretty much everyone hates this everyone hates david art clips i mean some people are, are like in the middle but for the most part i feel like everyone is like i don't like david art clips people are moving from eclipse I'm, I'm calling this Eclipse because it's not even Davian R. It's just Eclipse. Like, people are moving from this. And I don't even know where to move myself. Like, I was on Instagram and stuff. My Instagram is just, like, not cutting it for me. I don't know if it's because I do digital art and stuff that, like, Instagram does not like me or whatever. I just cannot grow on Instagram. I don't know what the heck to do about that. But, you know... I don't know, maybe you could go to Pixie. Art Station is just way too professional. I just wanted somewhere like I could just produce art and, and be chill and get to know the people who are supporters of my art. Like on Instagram, I just don't have that community. Like nobody comments. So it's like, how do I get to know the people who are watching my stuff? Like, I, I don't know. Like, how do I, I don't like having like people just lurk my stuff i don't like that but anyway 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 i hope you guys enjoyed this little rant about dave and our clips um i don't i'm gonna just tell you i don't think dave and is gonna last i think this is the end because once you have the major people who contribute like you know the tops of a of a social media once they start leaving it's kind of like well then everyone underneath is going to start leaving and I feel like a lot of the tops already have left DeviantArt. But there's still some tops that are left on DeviantArt. But I feel like they're starting to leave. So I think there's like a need to kind of like regroup and figure out what the heck are we going to do as artists to remain relevant in this changing landscape of the internet. You know, this changing landscape from just being a hobbyist, sash, you know, fun professional to where everything's just like competition filled and overly saturated markets it's like what do we do especially since you can't really build a good community anymore it's like how do you get that consistency that is necessary for growth of your fan base very very serious questions but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this video and again it's patreon.com slash the tiger master go ahead and support me it only costs a dollar um also check out my webtoons if you want to read my comic book um i update once a week but on patreon I actually update my comic book monday through thursday so I hope you guys enjoy you know check out my other videos subscribe like comment tell me what your i what you think about david our clips do you hate this too are you hopeful or do you not care because you're onto a different social media tell me some other social medias that can use an artist please all right i hope you guys enjoyed Bye. the show by adding a bigger circle then for you're going to add another arm which is going to also have some triangular humps for the fingers and you're going to add another leg which is going to have spread out triangular humps for the little toesies sticking out so the squirrel looks pretty cool like he's doing a little dance here um he looks like he's about to do a cool little flip or something <laughs>